here we go. We are doing our language for the day. Now our first sentence, Jupiter is covered in clouds. It's very windy there. I don't know about you, but I hear, I heard two complete thoughts. And when you have two complete thoughts, you need to either have two complete sentences or you need to have a compound sentence, which is a comma and a conjunction. So let's think, what can we do here? We could say Jupiter is covered in clouds, period and then capitalize its, or you can say Jupiter is covered in clouds, comma, and it's very windy there. So why don't we do the compound sentence right now? We already have a comma, so all we have to do is put the conjunction. Junction, junction. So just put the conjunction there. So Jupiter is covered in clouds, comma, and it's very windy there. Look at that it's, it, it is used correctly because you can replace it with it is. It is very windy there. Now, is this the correct there? Yes, it is because it's talking about a place over there. It's talking about a direction over there. It's talking about a place. So it is T-H-E-R-E -E. that is the correct there. As a capital letter and an end mark, we are good. Now let's look at number two. Jupiter's great red spot is Ann Storm that spins around Jupiter. Okay. Well, we can hear right away that there's a mistake. And we've been work we worked on it last week, didn't we? It's about those article adjectives. It's our noun markers that tells us where a noun is. So right here. So Jupiter's great red spot is an storm. It's a storm. We don't use an because the next sound is not a vowel sound. Now there's a couple other things. We know that spins, that's not spelled correctly. There's only one N in spins. But let's look at the very first word, Jupiter's. Well, you're telling me when you have an S, S apostrophe, that it's either the word Jupiter's or it's talking about multiple Jupiter's. But neither one is the case. So this possession is not correctly, you, uh, the punctuation in this possession is not used correctly. Sorry, there we go. There. So let's look at that. We're talking about the one Jupiter, so we will write out Jupiter. Then to show possession, the great red spot belongs to Jupiter. It is Jupiter's. So we put the apostrophe S. The apostrophe is in the wrong place when you're talking about one Jupiter. Make sure that you capitalize Jupiter because it is a specific, you capitalize all the planets, and it's a proper noun, and you have an end mark. All right, now we're gonna add a suffix to make the bold word a superlative adjective. Hey, that's what we're working on this week. Superlative adjective means that you are just comparing three or more things. So Jupiter is one of the storm now, if it's a comparative, there's that word comparative, adjective, you are comparing two things, and you would just put ER. For superlative, you're comparing three or more, so you're going to put EST. So Jupiter is one of the stormest planets in the solar system? That doesn't sound right. What can I say instead? Jupiter is one of the stormy, stormiest. So when I do that, the reason they did that is because stormy has a Y on it. And when you put an ending on it, you have to change it to Y to I and then add your ending. Jupiter is one of the stormiest planets in the solar system because you're talking about 
eight planets in total. That's three or more. All right. Complete the sentence with the best word. All of the other planets could fit inside Jupiter. Jupiter is big, huge, or full. Now, two of these words could be it. You could say big and you could say huge. But when you're talking about something so large that all of the other planets could fit in it, you want a word that means bigger than big. You want huge. Jupiter is huge. Okay, they mean the same thing. They're synonyms, but huge just takes it a step farther. That's like the words you have big, okay, or giant, or uh, yeah, huge. All those words that can mean something just a little bit a step further than big. All right, thank you. No, oh, you know what? I'm going to give you a secret word. Thank you for listening all the way through. If you get this right, I'm going to give you five, for, uh, five points for listening through this whole thing. So my secret word is mm, marigold. I picked that because I see some marigolds right outside my door. Marigold, that is your secret word. When I put on, that's going to be the first question on your uh, test, your quiz. I'll say, what is the secret word from the video? You will put marigold. Thank you.